welcome back everyone. Hope you're all having a fantastic week. I thought I'd show you my kitchen today, seeing as I've acquired a few new plants into my collection recently. I've done a bit of shuffling round, so I do have some new plants in my kitchen that aren't usually here. And I wanted to show you how they're kind of settling in and adapting to their new home environment. But I'll go around and show you everything that I've got in here. So first up we've got my beautiful Aguanema First Diamond, which I got from the Ginger Jungle last summer. And it's still doing really well. These are great because you can put them in lower light and they still do really well. Although the brighter light you put them in, the better variegation you'll get. So mine has been sat either on this window or quite close to the window. So the new variegation has come through really lovely. There's lots of this pale cream colour. It's really pretty. But I did have it further back in the kitchen for a few months and I found that the variegation wasn't so good. I think you can see here, this is one of the older leaves. I mean, these are starting to die back a bit now. They're starting to go a little bit yellow but you can see the difference between the older leaves and the newer ones where I've had them in brighter light. But these are really easy to care for. Over here we have a little gang. I've got my Crystallinum, which seems to be doing well. It hasn't curled up or done anything dramatic just yet. I don't think there's any new growth coming from that one just yet, but I'm really happy that it's doing well so far. These guys here are some of the plants I got from Plants and Paints recently. This is the Forgetii Hybrid. Again, no new growth from this one yet, but it is winter, so I'm sure in a couple of months when it starts to get a bit warmer, we're gonna have lots of new growth, which is very exciting. Although saying that, my Vichii does have some new growth. Let me grab it. So there was a leaf that was just unfurling as it arrived to me, but quite often you'll find that any new growth will kind of die back because the environment changes a bit too much for the plant and it still has to adapt to its new home, its new environment. But a couple of weeks later and we have some new growth forming, which is awesome. I really love this plant. I can't wait to watch it grow. I hope the leaves get huge. How amazing are these ruffles on the leaves? And up here we have my golden dragon cutting that Kaylee Ellen kindly sent to me last summer. And I think it just was the one leaf when I first got it. Now it has three leaves and some new growth forming, which is awesome. I haven't got a clue what the botanical name for this is. I am not really interested in succulents, but I actually bought this succulent for the pot it came in. It was like a pumpkin pot for Halloween. And I think it does look quite cute on the windowsill actually. But yeah, I'm not really a succulent fan. Up here we've got my Alocasia Stingray and there seems to be some new growth forming here which is really nice because these can actually go dormant in the winter but if you give them bright enough light, enough warmth, they won't go dormant. So my Alocasia Amazonica last year didn't go dormant at all but this year because I had to move it off this windowsill and this is a east facing windowsill. I moved it into a slightly darker spot and it went dormant. Although saying that, it is actually producing a brand new leaf, which is a bit strange. It's upstairs anyway in my bedroom at the moment. And up here we have my beautiful variegated Monstera. I'm going to climb up on the side and give you a closer look. So this beautiful plant unfortunately got thrips over the summer and ended up having to remove four of the leaves because they were so damaged. 
but since I have treated all my plants with the systemic treatment, which I go through in, in one of my other videos, it's actually grown this brand new leaf. It seems to be thrip free, which is amazing. The variegation is just absolutely stunning on this plant. The stem is really variegated. That's usually a indication of how variegated it's going to be. So I'm super excited to see more growth from this beautiful plant. And because it's looking a bit tall, <laughs> it's just like a big stalk with a leaf on the end, I think I'm going to chop it up in the summer and then plant up each piece and then hopefully we'll get new growth from each part. Well, that's the plan anyway. I am actually planning on making a care video for this plant very soon as well because I know some of you guys struggle with keeping the white parts white, basically. I see a lot of really crispy brown white parts and there are things you can do to help prevent that. So I'm going to make a care video. So keep an eye out for that. Right, I'm gonna get back down off the side. Here's my lovely begonia maculata whitey eye. Seems to be doing quite well. It does have some crispy bits because I had it in the living room and part of it hung over the shelf above a radiator, so that's not gonna help, is it? But I have moved it in here since, and the new growth is looking rather nice. I did have one of these in the kitchen before, and it did really well here. I then actually put it into the bio bear, but then it got thrips and I lost it but it is regrowing in there, so that's good. I've got my Anthurium Claranovium. It's getting quite big now. I always find these grow a bit strange for me, like the leaves kind of face down the way, or they're, they're, they just grow really strange for me. It's almost like it's, it's getting too much light or something. So my other one, it was doing this down here so I thought, oh, maybe it's getting too much light. So I put it in my office and now it's, well, I'll attach a video of what it's doing. It's the most bizarre thing ever. So if anyone's got any tips on how the leaves can kind of grow a bit more straight, that would be nice. I think there is a leaf there that's behaving a bit better. Hang on, let's spin it round. Yeah, so that one looks a bit better. Yes, very bizarre. Still doing well, but yeah, just, just growing a little bit strange. Next up, we've got Big Mel, the Philodendron Melanochrysum. Looking very grand there in the middle. Absolutely love it. And I, I am super excited for some new growth. You can see a tiny, tiny bit forming there, but that probably won't start growing properly until springtime. I'm so excited to see how big the next leaf gets. Might have to get a taller stand. And they do appreciate climbing up something, so eventually I might have to get some kind of pole or branch or something. But yes, he's looking pretty awesome. Next to him we've got my Paraiso Verde. Beautiful plant. Similar to the Bilati, but it's got this awesome like speckled variegation. Again, I can't wait to see what the next leaf looks like. There is some new growth forming there, which is pretty awesome. I think he seems to be appreciating this spot on the windowsill. Next to him, we've got my black velvet. Still doing really well. Haven't had any new growth from this one for a while. So I'm hoping in spring we get some new growth. I really like this plant, it's just 
I just love the texture of it and it's just it's just bizarre looking isn't it my croton's doing well it's got some new growth there which doesn't have much color because obviously it's winter and the more sun this plant gets the brighter the color is going to be so I'm hoping that the new leaves that come out spring and summer will be a lot brighter in color but he seems to be doing well and I water him when he starts to droop so you don't really have to fill the soil with this plant you can just tell by the leaves drooping that it needs a drink I do water it quite a bit actually even in the winter and here we've got my oxalis hasn't gone dormant sometimes I'll chop them back and then let them regrow in the spring but this time I just left it and I just thought I'll see what happens it's looking okay they do get a bit spindly when there's not enough sun so it'll be more compact when there's more sun I might chop it back before spring I don't know we'll see beautiful though got a string of pearls cutting down there it seems to like this windowsill which is good I always end up killing these <laughs> and then we've got my vanilla orchid which is still growing like mad attached itself to the wall <laughs> so I'm imagining in the summer it's gonna go crazy and it's probably gonna end up probably on the ceiling or wrapping itself around the top there but that's fine I think it's it's a really lovely plant that one came from the garden society so yes that's about the gist of my window in the kitchen right now oh yeah and my um, string of hearts here as well doing okay Quite a lot of new growth it could do with being a bit further towards the window to get a bit more light but I'll just leave it there for now and see how it does if you guys have got any questions about the plants just leave a comment below if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up and remember to hit the notification bell if you are subscribed because I know a lot of you guys don't end up seeing when I actually upload a video unless you've hit that bell which is a bit rubbish really because sometimes I get messages saying oh you haven't uploaded anything for a while um, and it's just because the notification bell wasn't clicked and it's just not notifying my subscribers so that will help if you want to know when I've uploaded hope you guys are all having a fantastic year so far and I will see you all soon in my next video. Take care everybody, bye!